Hey loves, you know who it is already. So let's get into this video. So anyway, I was contacted by Ali Moda, which is on AliExpress, and they sent me some of their deep wave hair. Now for the life of me right now, I cannot remember if it was virgin. I mean, it, it is virgin. I cannot remember if it's Peruvian, Brazilian, you know, one of those countries. I cannot for the life of me remember which one it is. So I'll definitely list it below for you guys so that way you'll know okay, as well. So they sent me three bundles of their deep wave and a frontal. You guys, I am like love in the frontals. I do like to make them now because I know how to tweeze the hairline, which is making life a whole lot easier. And it takes less time than actually making a closure wig because sometimes you don't even need as many bundles. But especially when you have two 16 inch bundles, a 14 inch bundle and a 14 inch frontal. So that's what I received. Now, I've showed you guys on many occasions how I dye hair, bleach it, whatever, and I just did a recent video of um, one that I had dyed with box dye. Same thing, same exact concept with this one. I did use the dark and lovely box dye. So the one that I used this time, I used two different ones. I used one that was really blonde. I used this one right here. I only needed actually two bundle or two boxes. Um, I have the Luminous Blonde, which is the number 396 in Luminous Blonde. And I also used the one that you see me use a lot, which has the girl that looks kind of very similar to Beyonce. I used that one as well. So I each had them each in their own separate bowls. The wig was already made, so that's the reason why I only need to to use two boxes because I kind of like painted the hair, the, the dye on the actual hair. It does take longer than normal. Just keep that in mind. Uh, it probably took me like an hour to do all this, but I did like the outcome of it. It looks so pretty and it just looks very full and spicy like. Um, definitely, I love this style. If you're going to do something curly, try to give it a little bit of color. If you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on this, then just leave a comment below and I will do it on a soon to come curly unit. I'll do the same thing. Now on the box it actually says if you have darkest brown to black hair it's not recommended to use this. It's because you know your hair is not going to get this blonde. Even if your hair was like a brown color it's still not going to get this blonde. You have to do like several treatments but with the blonde like the very platinum blonde it does come with a small little envelope packet that has like bleach in it okay so you would pour that into the mixture. I did leave this on the hair. This was on a hair pipe for like I started this at about I want to say seven 7.30, 7.45 I started doing this and I didn't finish until like 9 and then I went and moved on to the next unit that I was going to do. Um, so and then I left it on so it was probably on the hair for like a little bit over two and a half hours. It didn't do anything to the hair but I will tell you this you definitely do need to wash it and shampoo it out because it, this the chemicals do smell really strong and um you can still smell it very slightly, but it does still have a strong scent to it. So, um, yeah, I did tweeze the hairline, and this is what it looks like now. I just put it on a regular dome cap, and I didn't put any combs in this one. I just put a huge, nice, wide elastic band in it. I love the elastic bands, um, especially for the lace fronts. So all I'm going to do is go ahead, I'm going to cut the lace off of this. Now you guys always tell you to use a very small scissor because a small scissor, especially a nice curved one, will give you like a nice, precise looking hairline, okay? Not to mention you want to tweeze it, but you know what I'm saying? You don't want a big scissor because... It's just a little bit hard to get around all the little curves and stuff. So. Alright you guys, let's go for this. Now what you can do is you can cut off the side tabs because unless you're going to glue them down. For me, I would just cut them off because I wouldn't even wear them.
for it, you guys. So I'm saying though, listen, I think I did a damn good job on this hair color. Like seriously, I didn't even part it when I when I washed it. Like you know, normally I will condition it and put the part in it. I didn't even feel like doing it. I just said let's let it just dry like that, and I'll figure it out, and I'll just go with the flow with it. And that's just what I did. So I kind of like it be like this because it's kind of like. Um, there's, you know what I'm saying? Like the way it dried, it gave it some volume in the front, especially because I kind of like brushed it back and just brought it to the front. But the curls are so pretty. Like seriously, I'm not really sure why they call it deep wave because it more or less like is like a curly wig, a curly, curly texture to me. It's just more or less curly. But I do like deep wave a lot better than curly because deep wave just has more texture you can definitely find deep wave the hair is more texturized and it just you may sometimes not need a lot of it so I definitely like deep wave hair so Ali Moda on AliExpress I have worked with them plenty of times um, so they are a reputable company you know what I'm saying if I don't like the company or they don't give me good vibes or the hair ain't good or whatever or whatever they send me ain't good I'm not messing with them again so Ali Moda is definitely reputable it's affordable hair you know what I'm saying hair is not gonna last you forever um you can still take good care of it and it'll last you longer but it's not gonna last until eternity so just keep that in mind now when i washed it and then i did rinse it of course i did use conditioner and i used the conditioner that came with the box but i also used some of my bolsify conditioner as well um which is a color um, color rinse conditioner and a shampoo I definitely have to use shampoo because I didn't want the hair to still still smell like chemicals so when I wash it of course it did shed a little bit and it might have been from the hair dye um, and it also made it a little bit more um, it made a little dry so I didn't I then went ahead and used my conditioner I noticed in the hair it did um, it did have a scent to it from the chemical so you definitely do want to shampoo when you're using any type of hair dye in general but for the most part they do have like some really great hair I should have put some combs in the back or a comb at least one comb in the unit definitely in the back so I'll probably do that but I do like it it's two full bundles of 16 inches and then a 14 inch bundle and then a 14 inch closure um so I do like the length for sure it's definitely full color appropriate definitely I do like this brownish color hair and I definitely like the fact that you can just use box dye to change the whole hair color in general like if you want to use two different colors you'll get two different kind of highlights so definitely check out Ali Moda I will post all of their information below for you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video on that note I love you guys stay diva and delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in a soon to come video